China is hiring the West's own ex-military pilots to train their military pilots to fight the West. What are you talking about? Let me explain. So you're China and you want to invade Taiwan. You're sure that invading Taiwan would probably be a cakewalk. Your military is way more powerful than theirs, so that is not really a concern. What is concerning is the fact that if you invaded, America and NATO would definitely come to Taiwan's rescue. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are? That's the commitment we made. America needs Taiwan's computer chips in order to survive. They've got skin in the game. Which means it's pretty much guaranteed they'll be defending Taiwan if you invade. Biden even said so himself. U.S. forces, U.S. men and women, would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion. Yes. This would not be good because America's military is the most powerful in the world. And if the U.S. goes to war, all their NATO allies would be obligated to join the fight against you. So on top of the U.S., you would have to go up against all of NATO as well? You would not stand a chance. Unless you start to play a little dirty. See, if the West were to defend Taiwan, a big part of their operation would be their air force. The West has the fastest, most powerful, most dangerous fighter jets in the world. So if you want to stand a chance in this scenario, you'll need to know exactly how Western fighter pilots think, how they plan out their missions, what their standard operating procedures are, how they organize their forces for an attack, what are their weaknesses. Because if you can learn exactly how the enemy is going to fight, you can crush them. Luckily, we have a very simple solution to this problem. Simply call up a bunch of retired Western pilots and bribe them with a bunch of money. Surprisingly, for countries like the UK, this is legal. So you go after dozens of retired military pilots from the UK and Australia and offer them huge salaries to train your own military. And since the UK government never thought to put in laws against this, it's easy for your recruits to accept your offer. So now, former British and Australian pilots are working directly for the Chinese army, getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars and revealing all the secrets the US military has shared with their allies over the years. And it's all part of their master plan. Let's just listen to Chairman Xi's uh, words right now. He's telling his country to prepare for war. He's undergoing a massive military buildup. The Chinese Navy is now larger than the US Navy. Their Space Force is launching more than we are, and they have a massive nuclear modernization. And he's He's telling his military to be ready to stop the United States from intervening by 2027. Stay dangerous and let's get into it. If you're watching this channel, you probably like to know what's really going on in the world. The problem is news outlets are extremely biased. Some are way too biased to the left, some are way too biased to the right. And most of them are owned by rich people or giant media conglomerates. So you end up having to read a bunch of different media outlets to get to the truth. It takes way too much time, and that's why I was super excited when I found out about Ground News. Ground News is a media platform that makes it easy to compare different news sources, allowing you to avoid media bias. Ground News goes through 60,000 news articles every single day from over 50,000 different sources. Then they take all these different pieces and merge them into a single story that gives you a variety of perspectives on the same story. And what's cool about Ground News is that you can swipe through headlines to see how different outlets cover the same story. You can even see a visual breakdown of where sources lean politically for a story. And you can even see an international perspective to learn how the same stories are covered all around the world using their map feature. Ground News is a breath of fresh air. It saved me a ton of time, it's prevented me from getting sucked into echo chambers, and I highly recommend you try it out too. Take advantage of the Ground News Black Friday sale and get 40% off a Vantage subscription. Sale ends December 2nd. So check out Ground News for free by going to ground.news slash jaketran. That's ground.news slash jaketran with the link below. Thanks to Ground News for sponsoring this video. China hiring foreign pilots to jack up their military is nothing new. During World War II, the Chinese government recruited a bunch of retired American fighter pilots to train their own air force. And at the time, this was totally fine. America was on China's side, believe it or not, and China's military was pretty weak at the time. These pilots are still celebrated to this day for helping liberate China from the Japanese. They were called the Flying Tigers and were literally considered heroes of the sky. But today is different. Today, the US and China are in a cold war together, and the US has got to do everything in their power to make sure Taiwan doesn't fall into the hands of China. America does not run on Dunkin' Donuts, believe it or not. 
it runs on computer chips. Computer chips are arguably as important of a resource as oil is, and we know what America has been willing to do for oil in the past. So what would America be willing to do if Taiwan, and therefore 65% of the world's computer chips were at stake? So you gotta prepare China's military as much as possible. So you start by sending out headhunters to recruit retired pilots from the UK and Australia. Now one may think that, come on, those are veterans for crying out loud. They're patriotic, loyal to their country. They would never betray that loyalty to work for you. And that may be true for most veterans, but not all of them. These pilots are in their mid-50s, and some of them have debts to pay, kids to feed, kids in college, child support. And since they've been deemed too old to continue to fly military craft and blow stuff up, their only option now is to teach. Unfortunately, the average salary for a UK military pilot instructor is only a measly $80,000. So when you offer these guys $270,000 a year to train your cadets in Western warfare, it's almost guaranteed that at least some of them are going to be interested. And just to sweeten the deal even more, you also offer to cover their travel expenses, along with all expenses paid luxury apartments. Even better, they won't even have to live in China for the job. Have them work at a flight school in South Africa where you'll send your pilots to get trained. That way you can stay discreet. And what do you know? All of a sudden, you've got 30 British pilots signed up to your new training program. A poll by UK media company BFBS showed that three quarters of British armed forces said they would not train China's army for any amount of money, not even $270,000. However, 17% said that they would. That's one in six fighter pilots with a wealth of knowledge that they could impart on you. Pretty good odds. And when the media question these pilots about their betrayal, they just argue that we're old and out of touch. Any information we share with China will be outdated and irrelevant anyways. That's the story they stick to, even though they know it's definitely not entirely true. See, these retired pilots are experts in the operation of fighter jets like the Eurofighter Typhoon, Sepikat Jaguar, Harrier Jump, and Panavia Tornado. These are proven fighter jets that are still being used in a ton of NATO countries. The UK's Royal Air Force, the German Air Force, the French Air Force, the Spanish Navy, the Italian Air Force and Navy. Heck, one of them is still being used by the United States Marine Corps as we speak. Another one of them is even being used by China's other arch nemesis, India. And even though some of these models are no longer being used by the US military, some new models are based on these original designs. And on top of that, the actual weapons are only a tiny part of what wins a war. Tactics, logistics, and much more are also what wins wars. And that's what these Western pilots have stored in their head. And what's surprising is that paying for this intel from the UK military is surprisingly not illegal. At least not yet. So you still have plenty of time to extract all that priceless knowledge from their heads and into the heads of your own airmen. When news broke about British pilots getting snatched up by the Chinese military, the UK government kinda scrambled. They realize that they surprisingly don't have any laws against retired pilots training enemy forces. And this isn't normal. For example, the United States has always had strict laws in place as to what ex-military personnel can and can't share after they retire. Folks need to understand, of course there are export restrictions if I'm gonna send a widget or a key military item or a plane or a tank to a foreign country, much less an adversary like China. But there's also those kinds of controls on our tactics. You can't just go around the world and teach anyone uh, that you want how we do our military planning or our strategy or sniper skills or how uh, to dogfight or to counter our stealth uh, fighter capabilities. But if you're a British pilot, apparently you can just go ahead and take a job teaching the Chinese army your life's work and the UK government can't do anything about it unless it aligns with the official Secrets Act. This act was established way back in 1911 and protects the British Army from espionage by their own members. And on the surface, it looks pretty promising, but there's just a tiny problem with the wording. 
According to the act, members of the Royal Armed Forces can only be prosecuted if actual evidence is found of their betrayal. And this evidence is going to be pretty hard to find. So as a last minute solution, the UK proposed a new law. It's basically a two-strike rule, where pilots suspected of collaborating with China will be given a warning to stop. If they continue, then they will have broken the law and can be arrested. But as you know, laws can take a long time to get passed. And according to recent reports, 30 pilots have already signed on with the Chinese army. And who knows how many other pilots will sign on between now and the passing of this new law. I can't believe that the British uh, don't have those types of restrictions as well, but apparently... It's evident that China is planning something big. Only time will tell if and when they ever pull the trigger. But you can be sure we're going to keep you updated on this channel. So make sure you subscribe. The United States and China are neck and neck in terms of military power. Right now, China tops the list for largest army with the highest number of soldiers, while the United States tops the list for biggest military budget. The US has the money, China has the manpower. All China would need to do to push their power over the edge is increase their military budget, which isn't all that difficult considering just how crafty China can be when it comes to making a lot of money fast. And one of the best examples of this comes from the 1970s, when the Chinese government withdrew all their public funding to hospitals and the military in one swift motion, which meant both of these groups suddenly had to come up with their own source of income. So they looked around and figured, hey, we have all these knives, scalpels, and operating tools. We also have millions of healthy citizens with nice, juicy organs. Why not sell organs to rich Westerners? Genius. And so, boom, China's profitable forced organ harvesting industry was born, where prisoners get their organs removed by force to sell to wealthy Westerners. And we would love to show you exactly how these Chinese hospitals managed to pull off the largest forced organ harvesting operation in history, but if we posted this publicly, our channel would get instantly demonetized. Which is why we decided to release all this info as a full-length private documentary, only available to members of this channel. All you have to do to get instant access to the profitable business of forced organ harvesting and tons of other secret docs on topics like Jeffrey Epstein, MKUltra, and CIA black sites is to click the join button below. And unlike university, we're not going to charge you thousands of dollars only to leave you in the dark about how the world really works. It's only going to be $5 a month. And there's a refund policy too, unlike most YouTube memberships. So if you join and you don't think it's worth it, Email us within your first month of joining for the first time and we will personally refund you for your first month. After your first month, there is no refund. 